Uh, yeah. Welcome back to Harvester. Uh, I had to take a break from this game for a while because it's just so fucking weird. Um, but we've come this far. <laughs> let's uh, let's go ahead and keep going. And uh, I I've heard it only gets fucking weirder. So um, let's get the hell out of here. Um, we need our final assignment, don't we? Let's go talk to the lodge guy. Sergeant at arms. And here it is. The object dawed. Imported Phoenician glass and Italian dreams. You have done well. An unfortunate side effect that Pastorelli was electrocuted because you left live wires in a puddle. On the floor, Damn. but as those with affectations of worldliness say, say la vie. Uh, is that all you can say? A man was electrocuted. Pastorelli's own incompetence caused his unfortunate accident. What does it matter that you left live electrical wires hanging in the water on the floor? If he hadn't cross-wired the alarm system to the sprinklers, he'd be alive today. Of course, you only wanted the bowl. But that hardly matters now. Your final assignment is to set a fire in DNA's diner and let the French fry where they may. <laughs> okay. Um... Jeez, that's no minor prank, that's arson. Forget it. So close, and yet so far. What a pity. Tonight, the bake sale commences. Soon, the annual harvest blood drive will be at hand. When sacrifice will be the order of the day, your time in harvest grows short. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna have to burn down Edna's diner, I guess. Um, let's go to the shop and see what happened here. The fuck? Except for its occasional hairball cough, it's hard to tell if the sheep is alive or not. I mean, it's fucking roasted, dude. Okay, well, let's talk to Mr. Swell. Think about taking some of that siding off my hand, son. I'll cut you a nice price on it. I was one what found Pastorelli this morning. After he stepped in the water with the live wires hanging out, his body was so burnt his arms and legs was blackened, fused together, and the sheep was well done too. Problem is, both was burnt so bad and the flesh all crisp and distorted, limbs melded. You couldn't tell them apart. And well, I didn't want to take a chance on eating Italian. No, sir, I didn't. Jesus Christ. I tell you, the only thing worse than a fire station full of sissies is a fire station full of pigs, sissies. They're all accusing each other of stealing some silk underwear or something. Boy, whoever said fighting fire with fire be happy in harvest. Cause we got a fire station full of flamers. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you again, Steve. This fucking game. I can't talk now, son. I'm busy with this game. Dang it if the whole town ain't going to hell. Poor old Johnson, defecating a work of art like that. Well, that's a sure sign that civilization is coming to an end. I guess you heard that dang idiot Pastorelli went out and got himself electrocuted. Somebody stole a barber's pole. The alarm system triggered the sprinkler. There was water on the floor this morning and the darn crook left exposed wires out. The Pastorelli came in, flipped the switch, and then zap! Yeah, maybe them aliens is hot for colored glass after all. <sighs> Anytime, Steve. 
I feel like he just said something racist there, but I don't understand. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get out of here. Uh, we need to go to the Potsdam residence and talk to Stephanie. We're gonna just ignore the dad. He'll probably talk about meat. What's up, girl? More, more sex? I'm glad to see you. I feel so alone, cooped up in here. I understand that bake sale is today. Yeah, you'd think it was the second coming the way everyone is acting around here. It's insane. The maniacal attention paid to this bake sale. Like all the women in Harvest came from the same cookie cutter. It's unnatural. Unhealthy. Almost a parody of how things should be. And through my window at night, I see my mother throwing out whole batches of cookies, like an automaton getting rid of its surplus product. My so-called mother has been baking cookies all week, and then throwing them out. Better that, than getting rid of us. Wait around long enough. I have a feeling they'll get to it. I don't know if you heard or not, but Mr. Pastorelli, the barber, He's dead. Looks like somebody stole a barber's pole from him, then left the exposed electrical wires and some water on the floor. Pastorelli walked in, flipped on the lights, and... Know anything about that? Absolutely. I didn't mean to commit fucking murder. <laughs> I just wanted the pole for the initiation. Do you want to initiate my pole, Stephanie? Oh my god! Steve, that was no little prank! A man died! It was an accident. Forgot about the live wires in the water. That doesn't change the fact that you killed him! This initiation killed him! It was just an accident. An accident which wouldn't have happened if not for the Lodge. Don't you see? I'm beginning to think that the Lodge poisons everything it touches. Harvest, even you. I didn't create this situation. Are you sure? No. But however it started, I'm gonna see it through to the end. Vandalism? Theft? Manslaughter? What's next, Steve? Murder? Fuck yeah! Look, I know in the beginning I suggested you might check out the Lodge. I was more worried about getting out of here than anything else. But now that I know you, I'm worried about you too. I'm fine. A man is dead because of you. How can you be fine? You've got to stop this. Tell me, is anything positive going to come out of this lodge initiation crap? Yeah, or escape, hopefully. It just seems to me that this order of yours is getting you in deeper and deeper trouble. They can't make me do anything I don't want to do. No, but maybe when it's all said and done, you'll want to do anything. You've got to trust me. Come back and visit me soon, okay? So, uh, no sex is what you're saying? You're a little, uh, upset I murdered someone? That's alright. Alright. Bye, meat boy. Uh, now we're supposed to go to the mortuary. I'm looking for... Ah, there's a casket. A young man lies motionless in the casket. Red stains are visible on his shirt and boots. I just, I just do it again. Okay. S so, I'm supposed to take a picture. Use camera on casket. You take a photo of the body. Okay. Then let's get out of here. Now let's go talk to Creepy. Um, <laughs> these fucking... These Fucking sounds, dude. Uh, photo of slashed corpse. 
Ah, you've taken up photography, I see. Now why on earth would you choose such a grotesque subject? That John Doe you've got boxed up in the chapel? He didn't just drop dead. Someone helped him take the plunge. Hmm. You may be right. I'm a mortician, not a medical examiner. You don't have to be to know that being ripped to shreds can be detrimental to your health. This is not something you want to be looking into, young man. Hmm. Is that a threat? I've got the goods on you, not vice versa. Got the goods, have you? You're in harvest, my young friend. Have you tried the road out of town yet? Do so and you may question exactly who has who. Look, are you going to tell me what I want to know, or do I go to the sheriff with these pictures? That would be a grave mistake, I assure you. I've told you all I can. My losses have been substantial of late, so I can't offer you money. The only thing I can give you in exchange for the photographs is my tube of astro glue. I do suggest you take it, for it's all you'll get from me. Uh, glue, huh? All right, it's a trade. A wise decision. When a wasp's nest is stirred up, it is seldom the wasps who grieve later. So I got the astro glue, it looks like. Uh, aspirin, cough medicine, vitamins, tampons, matchbook. Where? Astro glue, there we go. Apparently that's what I needed. Now apparently this is completely unnecessary. Nightfall descends. Okay. No, 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 no. We're not watching this goddamn video. Apparently, I, I'm gonna go ahead and save here, but we can murder her. <laughs> I gotta see this. So apparently if we arm ourselves with the shovel, to get closer <laughs> How is she still making noise? Well, there we go. Now, let's head down to the uh TV station. <sighs> Looks like the postman has uh, set fire again. Can I examine the door? No, it's closed. Yeah, obviously. Guess that's all I can do here. Now let's go to the uh, school. back here. Oh, it's the bake sale. Talk to PTA mom. What a good boy you are. Have a cookie. Um, to hell with your cookies. Why, I never. Isn't that right, ladies? Yes, never. Hello, Steve. Um, you all look alike. Mercy, what a terrible thing to say, isn't it, ladies? Yes, terrible. Yeah, right. Ladies, someone has just burned down the TV station. On the night of our bake sale. All right. So now we need to go to the um, fire station. Whoa! He's dead. Okay. Am I supposed to do anything with that? I don't know. That dog's annoying. <clears throat> so let's get out of here. 
Let's go to Edna's diner. I'm sorry, DNA's diner and save. The diner is locked up. Okay. So let's use the tape like we did with the barber shop on door. There we go. Then we'll use the fire axe. There we go. Now what am I doing? God damn! Talk about pixel hunting, I was supposed to find this fucking cover, this cake cover. Right next to my head, you can barely see it up against the wall. Fuck! Yeah, I want the cake cover. No, don't punch. We're supposed to use the Astro Glue on the cake cover. You apply glue to the rim of the cake cover. Now I'm going to take this and put it over the smoke alarm. Then, let's save, because I feel like I'm about to die. Operate the grease fryer. Then use matches on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Let's see what happens if I hang around. Always keep an eye out for the good death scenes. That's it? Ah, oh, that's a total bummer. Total bummer! Alright. Put the matchbook on it. Yeah. Let's get out. Maybe I should leave so they don't see me here? With Edna's Diner ablaze, your task is complete. You carefully make your way home to avoid any possible witnesses. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to watch that shit. And here we are again. Okay. Let's see, what's Hank doing what today? What is it now? Hank? What? Why are you sitting in front of that blank TV? Someone burnt down the TV channel. There's nothing on. Nothing on. Honestly, Hank, you're acting like an alcoholic. I told you all that TV would hurt you. Watching TV don't hurt me, Mom. But not watching TV hurts bad. If I find out who burnt down the TV station, I'll make him wish he was one of those damn Indians. Uh, yeah, okay, Frank. Good. Finally. Oh, sorry, not Frank. Hank. What you doing today, Mom? Hello, dear. How are you today? Just fine. The nerve of some people burning down the TV station to detract from our bake sale. I doubt the perpetrator did it just to annoy the Harvest PTA. Coincidence? I don't think so. Just six months ago, the newspaper building went up in smoke. Obviously, there's a firebug on the loose. Either that or a communist. Steve, I'm so scared. What's communism got to do with anything? Just ask Colonel Monroe at the missile base. He'll tell you. No thanks. Now that the bake sale's over, I just don't know how I'll fill my time. Oh, I feel so... useless. <laughs> my goodness. What's wrong with her? What the fuck? Oh, my goodness. God. Oh, it's not as bad as it looks. You just pop them back in. Oh my god. Jesus. Mmm. Tasty. See? <laughs> that tarantula she ate must have had wasp eggs in it. Don't you think we should get her to a doctor? What for? She's got her mother. How silly I was feeling useless just because there are no more cookies to bake. I can still rear my brood. This is a sign, Steve. I have a purpose again. <sighs> Glad to see you're feeling better. Mine, that fire still burns my britches. First the newspaper building, then DNA's diner, then W-H-A-R. 
I sense a pattern. And any pattern I can't make a dress out of is no darn good. I suppose you heard about DNA's diner burning down. Sheriff Duane thinks it was a grease fire. Did you hear? Someone exterminated the wasp woman. <laughs> exterminated? Got it? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> I used to be such a card. Everyone in the Glee Club thought so. Oh, I haven't lost it, have I? We took a black eye on the bake sale, but I'm sure the Harvest PTA annual blood drive will be more successful. Overall, we made about $200. Hardly enough to bury a dead horse. And definitely not enough to cover the annual blood drive. Okay. I guess let's get the damn paper. And let's get out. You want the paper, Jimmy James? See you later, alligator. Yeah, I bet you do. Want your goddamn paper? There now. See how easy it is? I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing Like, who cares if I give that to him or not? But, uh, that's fine. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go uh, talk to Stephanie like we do, so she can berate us for causing some sort of murder or damage. Let's see. I'm glad to see you. I feel so alone, cooped up in here. I saw the TV station go up from my window. It lighted up the whole town. It looked like hell. I wished it would consume the whole damn place. And me with it. Don't talk like that. I'm sorry. I just can't stand it anymore. I wish there was something I could do. There he is. Oh, God. Make love to me. Again? Yes. Do it to me. Now. <laughs> is the dad gonna watch again? Yep. It's the same scene. We don't need to see this crap again. I've tried so hard to find an excuse to keep on fighting. But Karen and I can't go on alone any longer. This diner he left us was all we had. It was always a struggle to keep it running in such a small town and now we've lost it I know that I can't afford to support us now there's only one way out I'm sure you won't be able to understand the depth of despair that would enable a mother to put a rope around her baby's neck and push her into the air and jump after her I wonder if I'll hear her next now if she kicks around. Fuck! Jesus Christ! And he strangles. I won't cut her down. I've got to be stronger than I ever was before. But I hope she doesn't kick. God help us and forgive us. Edna Fitzpatrick. Oh my god! <laughs> and she's... Jesus fucking Christ, dude. <laughs> oh my god. This game is off its fucking rocker, dude. <clears throat> and I am a piece of shit. Like, I just burned down this diner and the mom killed her daughter and herself. Christ. Okay.
Well, post office. We saw that dude burn it down. Sorry, son. No time to talk. Neither rain nor sleet nor snow nor hell shall keep the mail from its appointed rounds. Hello there, young man. What's the good word? Someone burned WHAR down last night. Really? I hadn't heard anything about it. And since I don't have a TV, I didn't notice it was off. Really? Yeah? What about... Arson... or Surden? I beg your pardon? You burned down the newspaper building, didn't you? You don't have any proof of that. Nobody does. The sheriff stated that no evidence was found on the crime scene. Then how do you know it was a crime scene? Son, I have a feeling you're never going to get that lodge application. I feel it in my bones. I already got it! Next time you post, don't forget the zip code! You dick lord asshole. Well, I guess we'll go to the lodge then. I think we've done everything we need to. TNA's diner is no more. As is Edna herself. She hung herself as soon as she realized what had happened to her beloved establishment. A true entrepreneur and a credit to her nation. You bastards, you made me a murderer. Her suicide was an unforeseen byproduct, predictable by no one. She killed herself. She made her choice. If you were a catalyst, join the rest of the world. We all live off the deaths of others. Still, you sought to torture Diner, and torched it is. You have proven yourself a worthy candidate for initiation. Uh, candidate? I thought this was the initiation. This was only a trial to determine your worthiness for testing. Your initiation into the mysteries of the harvest will soon begin. In the meantime, be patient. Protocols must be observed before initiation may commence. How I recognize this sign? You will know. When you receive the invitation, bring it here and your initiation shall begin. Okay. Get out. Says I'm supposed to talk to mom here. Hello, dear. Oh, dear, I just heard what happened to Stephanie. What do you mean? What happened to her? You haven't heard? Well, young man, you march right over there this instant. She's your fiancé, after all. Yeah, I should probably do that, huh? Exit. And let's take a little trot down to the Potsdam residence. Uh. Well, let's have a look. Guess I can forget about the meat, huh? What do you mean? Your dad must have pulled some strings. Be sure and check Stephanie's pillow, you lucky bum. What the hell are you talking about? You'll see once the sheriff gets here. <sighs> Stephanie, Stephanie. Things will never be the same now. Guess I'll be watching TV nights. Okay, you can come in now, son. My God. Jesus! Is that what I think it is? Yep, it's a spinal cord. Is uh, it Stephanie? I can see a resemblance, but I can't be sure. More pie, Sheriff? 
high. Don't you realize what's happened? Oh, indeed I do. I, I can just hear the tongues wagging at the PTA. W was it suicide? Never heard of anyone pulling their own spinal cord out before. Off the record, I'd have to say no. <laughs> no, all in all, I'd say this was death by natural causes. <laughs> natural causes? You can't live without a spinal cord, son. <laughs> Nothing unnatural about that. Think I will have some more pie. Right away. I can't believe this. This is horrible. Believe me, you get to the point to where this is routine. <laughs> now the only clue we got is that card on our pillow. Take a look at it. I can't even read it. Be it known that the sacred... This is practically what? a confession. Wait. Confession to what, son? Murder. Isn't that what you're here to investigate? Son, you don't investigate natural deaths. No point. Then I'll get to the bottom of this myself. Yeah. I'm sure you will. More pie, Sheriff? Don't mind if I do. This has to be the weirdest shit I have ever played. Oh my god. Hello, Steve. Have some pie? Uh, I'd like to say I'm so sorry, but I highly doubt she'll care. Well, what family doesn't have its little problems? If it's not poor dental hygiene, it's a spinal column on the bed. Yeah, you know, we all have these issues. I don't suppose it'd hurt for you to take the card, seeing as it was addressed to you. Shucks, I'm sorry I had to read it in the first place. But that's my job. Say, I wonder if there's more pie. <laughs> Examine the lodge invitation. Okay, take it. Examine the skull and spine. A skull and spinal cord? Oh, well, shit. Um. Okay. And you're just uh, down here, not giving a shit? I wouldn't expect anything different. Well, let's get to the lodge then. Because I guess we have our invitation. Um, uh, there we go. You received the invitation, but you have not brought it. I don't understand. The invitation was not the card, but the spinal cord. It must be presented to me ere I allow you to enter. You expect me to steal the remains and bring them here? Or, you sick bastard, what have you done with Stephanie? The mysteries are only disclosed to members of the Order, not initiates. You were provided an invitation. Bring me the skull and spinal cord if you would pass to the world beyond. Uh-huh. Okay, so apparently the... Her body has now been taken to the cemetery. So we have to steal it from here. So let's get over to the crypt, I guess. And we need to use the ladder. Examine the skylight. Oh, apparently I'm supposed to break the fucking light. It didn't tell me that! Oh, 
fuck? Uh, I didn't realize I was supposed to fight. Wait. Arm? Yeah, get fucked! Yeah! I didn't- I don't know what damage is in this game, but, uh... Is there literally anything to look at? A nauseous smell wafts from within the unsealed sarcophagus. <clears throat> there it is. Pick up the remains. Okay. There we go. So let's, uh, disarm ourselves. All right, now, I guess to experience another cool scene that's not actually part of it. Is to, uh, go back home and not deliver it, I guess. Let's see if we can get that to happen. Nightfall descends upon a harvest. Exhausted, you lie down on your bed and rest your eyes. What the hell are you doing? I told you, if you were still in harvest for the annual blood drive, you'd have to donate. What's happening here? Have y'all lost your minds? You have only so long to find yourself. After that, if you're still a stranger, you have no one to blame but yourself. Do it. <laughs> So yes, I got lodge members don't have to uh, do the annual blood drive because they don't use needles. Remember what mommy said? So we actually do need to give this to the uh, the lodge to move on here. So let's get out of here. Let's open up our inventory. Give him Stephanie's spine and skull. Ah, you have done well. Now. Let the initiation commence. As your mystic arc, it is requested and required that I turn over this sacred dagger to you to aid you in your quest. What is this? You must now enter the lodge. Initiates find it a hostile place. Are you supposed to help me or get me killed? I'm starting you on the path of initiation to a very special, very exclusive brotherhood. I am merely the administrator of a test. Whether you view me as an enemy or a friend depends on how well you're prepared to pass. And this thing? You haven't said what it is. It is a special weapon. Using it will be part of the initiation. Okay, fine. I'll use it if I have to. You always have a choice, Initiate. Which choices you make matter only to you. Whatever occurs in here is relevant to the great question which you cannot help but answer. What is at issue is whether in answering the question you will find the answers you seek. You will encounter those intent on preventing or prompting your answer depending on how you look at it. While the assumption is you want to live, dying is easy and provides its own 
Vincenzo, but not for you. Just tell me, is Stephanie dead or being held within? The membership director on the second level keeps track of such things. Oh great, then you are against me. I am the sergeant at arms. I am here to ensure that the protocols are observed. Deviation from a protocol shall result in punishment. Remember what I have told you. Now, let the initiation begin. Fucking finally! Oh, God! This shit again. Just hold control and F4 and click a bunch. That's what I did before. Oh my god. Don't fucking do this. Control. F4. Click. Thank god. What head's that? Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we are in the final stages of the game. Um... We might have one or two episodes left. I'm not exactly sure, but be that as it may, we're going to end it here. So thank you for joining me, I guess, on this uh, journey through Harvester. Probably the weirdest fucking game I've ever played. And I'll catch you next time. You So you stay safe out there. Don't have nightmares, I guess. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. <laughs>